Hey guys. Hello there. How you doing? I hope you're good. I'm Thomas, this is Tech Productions, and you are watching episode 22 of Tech Tuesday. This week, I went 501st battle pack hunting, hopped on board the Hidden Side hype train, and bought dots. It's been a crazy week. Let's get some news. This is Tech News. Diagon Alley got officially revealed this week. The set has a whopping 5,544 pieces, forming seven different shops from the film in four modular buildings. It will cost you a cool £370 at retail, but is a must have for any LEGO Harry Potter collector with 14 minifigures, four of which are exclusive. As many of you that watch the channel will know, I'm not a Harry Potter fan, so there is no worry for me trying to find the money for this set. It is impressive for what it is though, and I can see why so many people are loving it already. Photos of the buildable Baby Yoda on shelves was posted online this week, and I must say, at first I really liked it, but the more and more I look at it, the weirder and weirder the face gets. I can't put my finger on what it is, just something about it. Despite that, I'm still in love with it and will be trying to cop as soon as possible. We finally got a gameplay trailer for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga video game. Click the card on screen to check out my reaction. Apparently the game will come with over 500 playable characters, which if is true, is absolutely crazy. I cannot wait to get this game, I am so so hyped for it. If you pre-order from game here in the UK, you can get the exclusive Steel Box, Han Solo and Carbonite, and exclusive Blue Milk Luke minifigure. The minifigure is very disappointing in my opinion, but still a must have. Roll on Spring 2021. The US LEGO Store September calendar got revealed. It advertises the Monkey Kid bike promo that has up until now been an Asia exclusive. I really hope the UK gets this promo and that will be the nudge I need to kickstart my Monkey Kid collection. I'm such a fan and want to collect the entire theme, potentially two of each, one to open and one to keep sealed, so a couple of these promos is essential, right? So to the local town where I've just moved to, there's this toy shop, uh, like a little one-off kind of novelty toy shop, um, and it didn't have, it had a lot of the new Star Wars sets to be fair, and a lot of new uh, Lego sets, but it also had some older stuff. It was all retail price, unfortunately, but um, I did pick this up because I looked on eBay while I was in there, and it was going for a bit more, um, but I really wanted the um, Mrs. Incredible and this figure, so I thought it would be cool to get the whole set. Um, I didn't film anything in the shop, I sh should have done really, I don't know why I didn't, but it was uh, just me and the uh, guy behind the till in there, very small shop, so, but next time I go in there, I'm sure I'll uh, get some footage of what sets they've got in there. So the Lego section here at Tesco is still absolutely crap. There's two Star Wars sets, which suck. Um, and yeah, just not a lot else really. Got them Trolls Poly bags. But I'm gonna wait for them to go on clearance and then cop them. But yeah, there's nothing here. But you do have a couple of things. One that I might pick up, but I think I'm almost definitely gonna pick up is the stunt plane. I'm doing a stream of Guava King on Thursday, so um, doing a hidden side stream. I do have the uh, shrimp boat, but at 12.50, half price, that was pretty good. There's two there, so I might pick them both up. Um, and I really want the uh, Jack minifigure with that hairpiece, because I think that looks really cool. But the other thing, nothing else there that I want, but and this isn't something I want, just think it's really cool, because I've never seen them in England before. It's these three-in-one sets. Helicopter, fireboat, the digger, and then the helicopter. Oh, that's it, just on the side. <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool. Sainsbury's got nothing worth having either. <laughs> just got that for half price. But uh, I think I've decided I'm going to get the hidden side vehicles eventually, but I'll wait for them to go on sale because that bugger looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, a few more Star Wars bits here, but nothing worth having. Mario up there, but yeah, not a lot. Just check the uh, reduce section. A couple of bits there, but 
got the boat last week. I think I said this before, but I got the boat last week. Paid 18.75 for it. It's now got that to 12.50. Love that. But yeah, a few action battle sets. Now I'm a bit arms burning for the Imperials. It's tempted to sweep all of them, but they're still a bit too expensive. I'll wait till they go like 75% off. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, and yeah, that's tempting, but I don't care for the Ray figure and I've got the Kylo figure, so. Yeah, that's gonna do it for Sainsbury's, I think. So on my way home from work, I popped into Morrison's. Uh, Brick Clicker told me that he managed to bag some discounted stuff in there. So there was some dots, some Lego City stuff. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to go check out the Morrison's that I was passing on my way home from work. And uh, yeah, there were some uh, cool little sets in there. So this is what I ended up picking up from Morrison's. I got six of the Dots Series 2 packs because I haven't had any of those before um, and I want to give them a go. Uh, also two Dots frames because I think, or two sets of Dots frames because there's three in each one by the looks of it. Um, I think these are going to go cool in my new bedroom once I've got finished decorating that. Um, and I also got this because it was half price and I literally only want it for the shark. The shark looks really, really cool. I probably should have just got it on bricks and pieces. Um, but... I was in the shop and I was like, okay, got to have it. But yeah, the Hammerhead Shark looks really cool. And I'm supporting National Geographic, so that's fine. And the, the, to be fair, the minifigure tour, so looks, uh, looks pretty cool. But yeah, that's what I ended up getting. So I'm decorating my new room at the moment and I need to go out and get some paint. But I'm also going to be going and picking up an order that I made uh, last weekend. So that's going to be exciting. I still need to put the stickers on the Speed Champion set. But uh, i going to do that. But yeah, I've got a very busy day. I'm streaming with Guava King later. We're doing a hidden side stream. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, I've got a very cool, very cool order that I've got to go pick up. So this is that little toy shop that I was telling you about earlier. Um, yeah, just give a little walk through. There's that Toy Story Mania set, the uh, carnival set in the corner down there that um, I'm considering getting. They've got two of them, but the problem is that they're all retail. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye out, see if I can find it anywhere cheaper. But um, yeah, they've got a good selection, to be fair. A lot of the new stuff as well. Um, plenty of hidden side stuff, which is going to be good if I'm going to be buying that in the uh, over the next few weeks and months. Um, but yeah, quite a good selection. Um, uh, just flicking through the hidden side stuff here. They had uh, the Shrimp Shack, which I'm te that might be the only one that I get that's not the um, that's not a vehicle. Um, but as it stands, I'm going to stick with just the vehicles because. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be a lot otherwise. There were some cool uh, Lego Batman movie sets, um, some Star Wars. The Encounter on Jakku was quite tempting um, as like an investment set. But yeah, I uh, I decided to pass on it for the moment. Um, I did speak to the shop owners and stuff and they seem really cool. So we're good to go in there quite a bit and support them. So I've just built my first hidden side set. I was on a stream of Guava King. Uh, he built the stunt plane, which I also... I've got that right there because I picked up the other day. Uh, but yeah, I built the uh, shrimp boat, which is a really cool little set. Not much for this side build. Don't care for the filler on that. But getting four figures, the crocodile and is it Park? Uh, Spencer, sorry, Parker's the girl. Uh, Spencer, the little dog, is uh, pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to putting this set in the app and seeing uh, it will come to life because I've not done that before. So I'm going to give that a go in a minute and then... Uh, yeah, I'll report back my findings, but I think I'm really going to like Hidden Side stuff. Um, before I even opened this box, um, I was like looking at the other ones. I think the school bus is going for 40 quid on Amazon at the moment, so I might be picking that up soon. Um, so yeah, I think I'm getting sucked into Hidden Side. Not another theme. Oh god. Just giving the app a go, and uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. I can't imagine it's going to be something that I continue to do. Um, maybe as I get a new set, then I will crack open the app and give it a go, but it's not something I'm going to play religiously, I don't think. But it's pretty immersive, and I can imagine kids having a lot of fun with it, um, and there's a lot of replay value. So, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I am well late to the party, but I'm here for Hidden Side. So I applied the stickers to my Ferrari that I built uh, on the Speedboat Sunday last week. This side 
really good, really happy with the application. This side, not so much. Um, I had to move that one a couple of times and it started to uh, peel away. You can kind of see that there. Um, and there's a little gap in the front there, which is kind of annoying me. Um, but yeah, guess I have to live with it. I might ask, see if I can get another sticky sheet from Lego, but we shall see. I also uploaded a video. I did a reaction video to the uh, Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga trailer. So that's off my YouTube channel. You can go check that out now if you fancy. But yeah, happy to be back on my uh, Friday schedule as well. Wasn't much of a video, didn't take me long, but um, yeah, better to get something out than nothing. So this week's Speed Build Sunday, I'm going to be building the Hidden Side El Fuego stunt plane. Uh, it's a really cool set, picked it up in Tesco, as you guys saw earlier this week, for £12.50, which is half price. Looks really, really cool. Um, Guava King built it on our Hidden Side stream this week as well, um, and it looked a really good set. It looked quite big as well, so looking forward to cracking this open. So yeah, let's uh, jump into the time lapse. <laughs> official i am well on board the hidden side hype train these figures are awesome three figures plus the dog parker is it i think uh spencer why do i keep calling it parker parker's a girl spencer mary break some jack and uh el fuego really cool mini figures i really like uh this jack hair piece the hair and hat combo um it's actually i think what got me noticing hidden side like I obviously noticed the weird box art before, um, but then when I picked it up, I was like, oh, okay, this headpiece is really cool. And then from that, it's, uh, it's yeah, it's grown into this beautiful love affair because <laughs> I am well sold. Um, I want all the vehicle sets, and this one does not disappoint for £12.50. I mean, this is worth £25. I would happily pay £25 for this, but to get this for £12.50, it's awesome. I've obviously not put the stickers on. Um, still got to put them on, but... This is awesome. When I get home later, I will put the stickers on and I will give it a good go on the app because um, I had some fun with that the other day with a shrimp boat. So, yeah, just so, so cool. Like the building techniques around these engines, um, the wings look amazing, plenty of playability, some stud shooters there, stud shooters at the front as well. Yeah, just a really, really awesome plane. Like you could get away with this. Um, you could take off these bits, take off the bit in there as well, and you'd have a really, really cool biplane. But um, but yeah, no, I'm gonna put, apply the stickers because I think they do. They will add a lot of value to it. This color scheme is just amazing. I love Hidden Side. I absolutely love Hidden Side. Um, so yeah, I want to get the bus and I want to get the train before they retire because I think they're the last two of the first wave vehicles that I need. Um, because I'm just gonna get the vehicle sets. I'm not gonna worry about the buildings. Um, yeah, just want the vehicles. So. Got this one, the boat, um, and yeah, I think that will be it. Oh, is it El Fuego's? It might be El Fuego's stunt truck. I, c I can't remember, but yeah, this set, this set, awesome, 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 awesome. And that is my 501st Battle Pack haul for the week. There is a total of 17 501st Battle Packs. I managed to pick these up from Argos. Um, I saw earlier on in the week, I think it was Monday, I was in Sainsbury's. Um, and I just went over to the computer and uh, I checked the stock of them. And it said you could reserve a maximum of 10 for um, pickup in store by the weekend. Um, so... Yeah, there was a glitch in the system when I went to pick up that order um, and they said that um, you weren't allowed to pick up more than two. So um, my reservation actually didn't go through, but the lady behind the till did sell me the three that she had in stock. Um, I'd already reserved four on two separate orders from that store anyway, um, but it obviously passed um, on when I collected from Digcorp because I managed to get all ten from there. So. Um, I managed to do that online, so before they put the two person or two battle pack limit per order, um, I managed to get that through the system and uh, they let me pick them all up, so win-win. 17 now, um, got 20, technically 21, but I could potentially be giving it away. 
um, on Sunday so shameless plug now um, if you want to be part of the second Speed Build Sunday Live um, and be in with a chance of winning one of three £20 Amazon vouchers or a 5 and first battle pack or and sorry and a 5 and first battle pack um, I will put a card onto the screen to the video now you can go check that out and message me over on Instagram if you want to be part of it um, you really need to let me know by uh, latest Wednesday morning um, so the day after this is uploaded um, if you want to buy the foil packs from me otherwise it's going to be a bit and a bit touch and go whether they're, they're going to get you in, in time but I have sent them off um, first class so they should still get you if you let me know by Wednesday but yeah that's my battle pack haul for the week I'm <laughs> I'm quite amazed this looks really 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 cool um, so yeah 20 20 in total and uh, yeah, on my way to 34, which is what I need before I want to do my clone army video. Um, and there are some big plans in the run up to my clone army video that I've got in store. So uh, definitely stay tuned. It's going to be a big video and there's going to be a big promo video for it as well. Hopefully coming out around about November. But stay tuned to the channel because uh, we've got an exciting couple of months coming up. But yeah, we'll end this week's Tech Tuesday on 17 beautiful 5 of First Battle Packs. Thanks for watching this week's Tech Tuesday. Make sure you leave a comment, give a like or a dislike, whatever you fancy. I'm Thomas, this is Tech Productions. Thanks guys, see you next time. Oh, before you go, if you enjoyed this video, how about clicking that subscribe button right here? Catch last week's episode of Tech Tuesday up there, or if you fancy something different, try this one. See you next time.